Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we'll look at what happened in today's trade as well as how the accumulation data is today and what it is telling us. And also over the weekend, I'll try to make a few more videos based on which sectors are looking good, probably a few stocks in those sectors as well, which are looking great after the decent accumulation or let's say pretty good accumulation that we saw in the last few days right so we'll start with the small cap index so small cap index because of the electoral bond thing wherein there was too much uh, this thing right uh, confusion as to what has really happened and all of that in the first half you saw pretty decent cuts even in the small cap index and the mid cap index even in the nifty so like i had told you yesterday that we should expect a decent bounce but after the video right around seven or eight in the night you got that uh, electoral bond thing and after which there there was a little panic and i think a few retailers kind of exited in um, the morning dip but finally in the second half the bulls came back in all the three indices uh, the nifty small small cap mid cap you saw a decent recovery and especially the small cap index actually uh, closed with a gain of almost 0.4 percent right so if you look at the chart so this was what we were expecting right we were expecting the small cap index to make this kind of a trajectory and today also although it had gone to a low of like 14,600, but it did not close there it came back and closed all around the highest point today right so that kind of tells us that there is very good uh, buying that is coming in at a lower level right so if it does this or this only time will tell as to which level it will go and then start reversing so even if you look at the mid cap index although it is not a great candle right but still you see this bottom wick here that kind of tells us that during the day it was at this particular level but then the bulls kind of pushed it higher so probably this should also do this kind of a thing whereas the nifty index kind of closed around the uh, i mean although it closed lower but then it is still hasn't reached that 22,000 mark or 21,935 wherein a decent support is kind of there so although it kind of touched those levels but from those levels it kind of reverse so high chances we can kind of move higher from these levels as well right so all three indices kind of pointing at a decent uh, bounce that is going to come my best bet still remains the nifty 50 index which is kind of making a higher high higher low kind of a pattern that should continue to move higher and also in today's accumulation the, uh, you can see most of the large caps are had pretty decent accumulation as well now moving on to the accumulation data and what it is kind of pointing at so one more thing that i wanted to tell you is when the worst news kind of hits the market but the market fails to go lower right like today everyone thought after the electoral bond thing the markets are going to crash but when the market kind of digests that news and starts moving up usually some kind of a near term bottom or uh, uh, let's say a decent uh, for a decent period this bottom is going to hold because that was the worst news that could have hit the market and it did but still the market did not react to that on the contrary it kind of reverse in the second half so that is kind of a confirmation right always remember that whenever like the uh, worst of the worst news kind of hits the market but the market fails to make a lower low that is the time when uh, it is already discounted and uh, usually the retailers kind of get out after that news but the big guys start pushing it higher right so now moving on to the accumulation data so in today's this thing you can see that there is a clear improvement in today's data right so compared to yesterday what the big guys did when the retailers were panicking in the first half and kind of pushing it one one and a half percent lower the small and the mid cap index they kind of came in bought the uh, most stocks and you can see clearly there is an improvement over yesterday although it is not as strong as uh, let's say 13th but still it is more than half of what we saw on 13th it is still a decent enough accumulation or say i would say a pretty good accumulation wherein the big guys use the dip to kind of buy more so looking at all that i feel that this up move should finally start from monday probably monday first half there might be some kind of a 
uh, it can open in the red but uh, really as long as these levels are held right uh, i don't think we are going to go lower majorly because the worst is kind of over like whatever news had to come and also today is 15th so the advanced tax numbers would start kicking in probably by by tomorrow or the day after so over the weekend even the market has to digest that news and if that news is kind of good probably on monday you'll see a big um, up move also coming in looking at the how the economy did and how much was the advanced tax collection in the uh, month of for this particular quarter so all in all looks pretty good for the coming week as well so let's see what happens i'll uh, again post a video on monday regarding the market and what happened and also the data but over the weekend probably on which sectors kind of look decent after this particular last two three days accumulation hope this helps thank you